So this one is um, about microscopes um, at GCSE. It looks like, uh, from what we're seeing so far, some of the questions on microscopes are causing real problems for people. So, um, yeah, this is a difficult topic, I guess, or a difficult thing to get your head around in some bits. Uh, particularly when you get to uh, the high level for triples uh, where you've got to use the micrometer but we'll come to that towards the end of the uh, the video and if you don't need to watch it then you don't have to sit through it anyway basically there are two types you need to worry about um, there are light microscopes and there are electron microscopes now both of these are going to work in a similar way in that um, you will magnify in other words make an image look larger it's just that these will use light rays or light beams if you like and these will use electron beams electrons will allow you to look at things uh, in much more detail there are actually two types of uh, electron microscopes there's one called a scanning electron microscope which gives you pictures in 3d and there is a transmission uh, electron microscope and transmission um, really just means that it, it moves through so the electron beams go through it in this one they kind of scatter off the outside that gives you 2d pictures but it allows you to get in much much closer and usually when you talk about electron microscopes these are the ones um, that you're thinking about okay so bits to um, think about here first of all we'll do magnification this is the bit that seems a bit more straightforward literally it just means how much bigger does your microscope um, make things look with a light microscope and all these by the way remember the number two two is going to be our magic number uh, the magnification of a light microscope is about up to 2,000 times so if I looked at an object I could make it look about 2,000 times bigger Different color here electron microscopes um, a transmission one can go up to about 2 million times. Notice here how I'm putting uh, the, the X to show magnification. We put it at the beginning, that means times, okay? So if you're talking about magnifications, make sure you include the X. So 2,000, 2 million, about 1,000 times high magnification, all right? Um, now the thing that limits this, by the way, if you're wondering why I'm not putting the scanning one on, um, that maybe goes up to, I'm not exactly sure what the modern ones are, maybe about 200,000. If I were you, I'd just remember this number. I wouldn't worry too much about these ones. Um, this is one that's useful to remember. Now, why can these ones go so much higher? Um, this is all to do with what's called the resolution or the resolving power. Okay, resolution or resolving power what this means is resolution you might be familiar with this when you talk about screens on TV screens or uh, mobile phone screens resolution means if you look at um, a picture and a picture is made up of dots okay so if you're looking at an image of something let's do it here, can you tell that two dots are separate okay so think of two dots getting closer and closer and closer and eventually they're going to be so close that you can't tell they're separate things and at that point the image would start to become blurry to you so res uh, resolution is the ability to see that two dots are separate or two points are separate um, and the resolving power the resolution of uh, a light microscope sorry not magnification the resolution is 200 nanometers all right now that number is actually fixed by um, the wavelength of light when you get down to these shorter wavelengths of light which are in the violet I should use purpley the violet part of the spectrum this sort of crosses over to physics the distance between um, the wavelength of violet colored light is about 400 nanometers okay um, and this one that number is half of it so it's half the wavelength if you like that's where it comes from you don't particularly have to remember that but what that's where that number comes from it's not sort of magic electrons have a much much smaller wavelength again physicists might not like me doing this but you can imagine the wavelength is is much much shorter and in fact it comes in at about 0.2 nanometers now bearing in mind the size of an atom is about 0.1 nanometer it's about twice the, the size of an atom that's how small you can get you could just about tell um, you know the, the size of two atoms you won't be able to uh, make out individual atoms but notice here that's why I said pay attention to that number two 
2000 magnification, 200 nanometers, to million magnification, 0.2 nanometers. Those are the numbers to look at. So you can get a thousand times bigger magnification, a thousand times smaller resolution. And it's this that limits um, your magnification. Really, you can build a really, really big lens um, that will give you massive magnification, but it doesn't matter if you can only resolve down to here. Okay, so that's the difference between the resolution and magnification. There are a couple of formulas to remember, which are use the same pen. Uh, first one's easy. It's um, when you're working out total magnification. So if you look down a microscope, the, um, the the kind of lens you look through. Here's my cheapo microscope. There we go. The lens that you look down is called the eyepiece lens. There's someone's eye. Uh, usually that's a times 10 magnification and then the ones you look through, so that's the eyepiece, the ones you look through are called objective, sorry about my writing, it's awful, uh, objective lens, the one that you view down at your specimen. Um, and these are the ones that can change, they might be times 10 or times 4 is quite a common one, um, times 40 is another common one. All you do is multiply the eyepiece by the objective lens. So times 40, times 100, and times 400. You just multiply the magnification together. That one's pretty straightforward. A little bit harder is um, the one where you have to do the, the, the sort of more difficult calculation. Now let's use a different color for this. This is how I would remember it. If you see an image of, you know, there's a cell. So that's my image, it's what I see and I'm told that that is a certain size magnification, let's say it's 400 times magnification, okay? The real cell would be 400 times smaller. So, the size of your image divided by your magnification will give you the real size of something, okay? That's the way I would remember it, all right? Image divided by magnification, will give you your real size. Because I can pitch that in my head, I can think, well, if that's the real thing, that must be 400 times smaller. And that is the way I remember it. I know people like to use these triangles. I'm not so keen on them. Um, you know, if it helps you remember it, fine. I would not necessarily um, prefer people to use that. I think if you can remember it that way, if I look at a picture that is 400 times bigger, or however many times bigger, the real thing must be 400 times smaller, so image divided by magnification. Now, if you're not doing the higher or the biology uh, triple stuff, um, you don't need to watch the next bit because that's from um, from that syllabus. Okay, so this is to do with actually measuring things under the microscope. So this is, let's imagine this is what I can say. Look down the microscope and I have this object, whatever it happens to be, and I have to work out how big it is. Now, what we can't do is get a tiny little ruler and put it under the microscope because of the way light microscopes work you can't really focus on two things at once and sort of putting a ruler underneath and trying to focus on the ruler around the object would be far too difficult to do so we've got to use a sort of uh, another method so what this would use is something called a stage micrometer which is actually a really tiny ruler but it comes on a microscope slide these um, would actually be a hundred micrometers across this is obviously <laughs> just a rule but you'll you'll get the idea from it so what you do is you can use a stage micrometer but we can't put this on top of here we can't do that bit we've got to use another method so we have something which is called an eyepiece graticule all right and this would fit in the eyepiece lens and all this is is a little um, a little scale with no numbers on it and what you would do is, first of all, you would focus this and you turn it around until it matches up with your ruler. And you then look for two lines that match on the ruler. So, for example, that is now lined up there. The next one doesn't really line up with a big number. The next one doesn't quite. Oh, but well, that one does. So, one, two, three divisions on the graticule equal 10, 20, 30, 40 divisions on this ruler. Now if this was in micrometers, that's like saying three divisions on here, one, two, three, equal 40 micrometers. Okay, imagine these are micrometers rather than millimeters. Okay, so I now know that if three of them equal 40, 
if I do 40 divided by um, 3, let's take it off here so you can't see what my fun password is. Um, one of these units must be 13.3. Okay, and does that kind of look right? Does it look like one of these might be? Yeah, it does actually. So I need to find two that line up and then I divide it. So one division on here is now 13.3 micrometers. Now this thing I can move. So I can move this across now because it's in the eyepiece. I can put my sample underneath and I can look until it lines up. All right, okay, so let's say, if I measure across here now, it's one, two, three, about four of those. So four times 13.3, 53.3 micrometers across would be my answer.